afternoon campers. It's Thursday, Snipes behind me, second session of the year. First session, or first overnighter, went a little bit like this. Well, good morning campers. What a nightmare. That was a tr traumatic night. <laughs> It's probably the worst night I've ever had on Snipe Lake. <sighs> Solely because there must have been probably a dozen ducks on here. And when they weren't shagging, they were diving on my baits. Um, I think I've had to redo my rods four times. <sighs> it's just been a trauma, an absolute trauma. So I'm back, having a little walk about. There's quite a few people on here today and I don't really like fishing here when there's a few people on but if I didn't it'd be another week gone by so uh, I'm just having a quick mooch about and see what I can see. Alright campers I'm back it's six o'clock in the evening check that out daylight love a bit of that right so I've opted to go in swim five um, solely because when I did a couple of laps after work I saw a fish show in open water in front of five so uh, I thought yes, that'll do for me. I've got a spot down in the margins to my left. I'll show you that in a minute as well. And I've sidearm cast to the island. Now that could be a little bit dodgy to be fair because there's a couple of ducks and they've started diving already. And after last week's debacle with the diving ducks that drove me mental, kind of making a rod for my own back there, I think. But buggered off at the moment so hopefully they'll stay away while I'm at it I just want to say um, poor old Ben's not with me today he went home early because he's got a serious case of the man flu so he's tucked up in his bed um, sweating buckets probably so I hope he gets better soon but um, yes yeah, so I'm on my only five last year my second session on snipe ironically coincidentally uh was in five where i had that 23 four common 23 pound four ounce common i mean so and that was in open water to a showing fish so let's hope history repeats itself and i get some um some sort of action but like i said on my last session on daughters There'll be plenty of camping on Snipe, I'm sure. So I'm feeling positive, fingers crossed, and uh, I'll show you my spots. Right, so my right hand rod is on the corner of the island, side arm cast just over there, uh, avoiding that tree. I've got a cut down brown cell pop up on that one solely because that's where the ducks have been. Uh, bombing about and I want to keep everything as dark as possible You know, I like me white so uh, I've left that one Alone, I don't I don't really want any anything visible for the ducks to see because it's a little bit shallower over there Second rod is open water just about there That one is a white pop-up on a Ronnie and that's solely because I saw showing fish there but because there's no features there whatsoever Oh, and it's a little bit deeper. I quite like the thought of a little bit of visibility there for the fish to uh, hone in on. Uh, chucked about 25 boilies around that with a catapult. My left hand rod is just about there. And uh, on that one I have got another brown pop up on a Ronnie rig. Now again, same reason as the island. I've put a brown one on there because the ducks are patrolling the margins and I really don't need them to be scoping out the whiteness. So brown is the way forward, plus it matches my freebies which I've chucked out over there. Uh, probably about 20 broken boilies and some brown pellets. So that's where we are people.
Right, let's see if we can get the bats on film. There's one. Go on, son. Yeah, they're right bombing about tonight. Love that. Morning again, campers. It's uh, just gone five o'clock. Woken up by the birds singing in the trees. That's lovely. It's a sign of things to come. Sadly, I haven't been woken up by my buzzers racing off. Um, heard a couple of shows last night in the dark. This morning, at a, just after five o'clock, I saw a fish top in open water. So I wheeled in the middle rod, put a fresh bag of pellets on that, and cast on top of the showing fish. But uh, I've got about an hour or so. So uh, we'll sit on that and see what happens. It is cold this morning now. I've got a bit of frost on me on looking mat, which is a bit of a trauma. Definitely feel it in my toes. Um, but yeah, started off on snipe as we mean to go on. A little bit of a tough night. It's all right though. We'll keep going. Got to be in it to win it, aren't you? It's good to be back. So it looks like today I'll be going into work 1-0 um, down still, chasing Ben, but that's all right. He's got one hand on the trophy after a couple of sessions. Well, he actually hasn't got his hand on the trophy because he refuses to touch it in case it's bad luck. <laughs> but I still live in hope because the common he had was at about six, ten past six in the morning last week so I'm in the right spot if they're going to feed that sort of time again so I'll leave them in there for as long as I can like I've said to you before whenever we do our 11 hour overnighters or whatever they are a little bit longer in the summer 12 hours max I suppose we always just fishing for one fish that's all, that's all we want, just one. Two would be a right result in an overnighter, but one will do. But the clock's ticking. It is for me this morning anyway. Right campers, that's me all done, packed up, gears on the barra, ready for the long push back. <sighs> Got to do the text to Shane this morning now. Never mind. Right, so thanks for watching. Um, if you manage to uh, stick with us, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you next week for some more camping. Take it easy, people. See you soon. Right, campers, after last night's very poor show, I've just finished work, so I'm gonna go and um, have a little stalk about. As you can see behind me, the sky is blue. There's fish showing in the margins, so let's see if I can go and get my first stalk fish of the year. Beautiful. Afternoon campers. Um, finished work o'clock, sunny afternoon. First stalk fish of the year. Three line maggots. Let's see if he behaves himself. That bad boy. Lovely little fish from Majors Lake. What a standard to start off my stalking campaign. Let's have a look at the other side. Wow, there you go. Happy days. Beautiful.